Hello, I'm Martin Brundle. You may know me from the world of Formula One. I'd like to introduce you today to a friend of mine, Charles Black, the founder of SEN, the Space Exploration Network. Charles, good to see you again. Now, SEN, Space Exploration Network, you're clearly very passionate, but also very serious about this. What's yeah. it all about? Ultimately, it's a space television channel. We want to take space and make it mainstream. We want to look at the science, but we want to look beyond the science. We want to look at the social, the economic, political, legal aspects of space exploration. Certainly, we're in a very interesting era with more and more nation states cooperating and private enterprise coming into space. So we want to raise discussion, promote debate, and look at all these issues, not just the science and understanding that, but looking at the whole psychological aspect of space exploration as well. But this is not just about your passion for space, is it? There's a commercial aspect to SEN. Absolutely. For quality journalism and original content, that has to be paid for. I see this very much as a, as a subscription model going forward. There's a lot of uh, activity out in the, in the world of space, mm. so what can SEN add to this? Well, I think we're in entering a, a fascinating era for space exploration because it's gone beyond now the Russians versus the Americans, the space race. So there's a lot of cooperation now, so the International Space Station involves 13 different countries. But also we're seeing the emergence of private enterprise into the space exploration arena with the, uh, a number of companies planning uh, to offer space travel for paying passengers. So I think it's a very interesting time and there's a lot of issues that need to be addressed and, and debated, not just looking at the science but looking at the legal implications of private enterprise involved with space exploration and also looking at all the social and economic factors involved as well. But education is going to play a key part as well, isn't it, of send.com? Absolutely. The thing that really interests me more than anything is the whole fact that you get a different perspective of Earth. If you imagine looking down on Earth from space, which tens of thousands more people are going to be able to do in the next decade or so with, with commercial space travel, it gives people a different perspective. Here we are on this beautiful spring day and the, the blue sky, which you know I say is it's a blindfold to reality of, of the fact that we are sitting on a planet right now, a piece of rock going 60,000 miles an hour round round a star and I think only when you go into space and you look down on planet Earth does the reality hit you. Every astronaut that's been into space refers to this thin blue veil of an atmosphere which is the only thing protecting us from the solar winds and the sun's heat and, and keeping us alive and you realise how, how thin and wispy and, f and fragile that environment is. So by putting more and more people into space as well I think it can really change the mindset and change the perspective and that's very much a sort of message I think that, that Sen wants to help educate people with.